so the, the meeting house, this is the church family shaker village here, and very few of these, are, well, um, a lot of buildings are missing, a lot of the auxiliary buildings, like, you know, this is a you know wagon shed and barn and the, the church family laundry and um, the, all the big barns back in here the, uh, and some other buildings have been here, are gone. The big brick building you walk by replaced this one that burned in 1875 and almost burned the entire village down. Um, but <coughs> you get a sense of how um, packed this was, how almost urban it was, and now it feels much more um, much more like an agricultural village. It was a mix of both at that time, but there was a concentration of buildings. So that's the context, 1870. One is the meeting house on the, on the left, is an 1856 depiction. Um, and the little building on the right here is the first meeting house the Shakers built in 1785. One of the members of the ministry decorated the meeting house by repainting this little decorative border on the top of the sanctuary. Just straight, just about this wide, one color, just a band around the top to sort of accent it, I think. And I think at that time, he probably, they probably painted the walls white. And the windows raised up and down. They did, and the, initially the windows did not have window weights in them, and it was within about a year the Shakers went down to Tieringham to the furnace down there and bought window weights for the windows. This is up here taken right on the hillside over here. The Shakers, you know, used a lot of this, quarried their own stuff here. This whole mountain here is all limestone. As it gets down towards Lee Mass, it all becomes marble. I mean, there was that Lee marble and limestone quarries. What was I was down here last week with a bunch of timber framers who were looking at this building, and they were just going nuts over... Um, technical details that I cannot begin to explain to you. The rug is clear that they had to cut holes through the floor, which to me is like cutting holes on the altar for the shakers, and then, um, you know, and then mount that directly to the beam, to the, um, the pillar that we saw down there. Uh, I think cement pads were poured, so this is all well supported. Nothing that, you know, I, I think Daryl School is going to be in this building for a long time as a library. They invest a lot of money in keeping it up, and it's a very nice library for the students. They totally rewired it for computers, and they've called their collections, so they have, you know, more and more of the sort of the materials that the students need. But um, some year, you know, some year they're going to build a new library, and some year this will get turned back into a house. And I just think it would be a phenomenal.